Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to make strawberry shortcake crumble berries with cream cheese frosting filling. It's gonna be so easy, so delicious. You guys are gonna love it. So for this ingredient, you're gonna need strawberry jello. I just got the three ounce. Um, vanilla pudding as well, it's the three ounce. One stick of butter. You're gonna need strawberries, white chocolate bark, room temperature cream cheese, powdered sugar, flour. You're also gonna need your half a cup, your one cup, your mixing utensils, and of course your baking sheets. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and we're gonna get started. You're gonna get two bowls. One bowl, you're gonna put your vanilla pudding and it's gonna be the whole pack. Oops. Just gonna throw it in there like that. Your strawberry jello. Smells good. Looks like the powder for the strawberry milk. Mm -hmm. You're also gonna need a half a cup of flour in each. And then what you're gonna do with your stick of butter, you're gonna cut it in half. It's gonna be a total of four tablespoons in each. So just in half like that. And you're gonna throw it into one. And we're gonna throw the other one into the other. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with my fingers. My hands are washed, so let's get into it. want it to look crumbly like this and then this is the red jello or the strawberry jello i'm gonna put parchment paper and you're gonna get like a, a baking sheet or a cooking sheet or whatever and we're gonna go ahead and put the vanilla on the bottom and then we're gonna kind of smush it down but you kind of want to flatten it out and then we're gonna go ahead and put the red one like kind of like on top Kind of mix them. And then you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you're gonna cook this six to eight minutes. Make it as thin as you possibly can. Once it's already all flat like this, you're gonna wanna put it in the oven. Remember, 350 degrees for eight minutes and we'll be right back. While our crumble is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the frosting. So you're gonna need one cup of powdered sugar. You're gonna throw it in your bowl. And you're gonna wanna get your um, cream cheese. And now for the messy part. You're gonna go ahead and blend your cream cheese and your powdered sugar. I'm gonna use a little towel to go over it because I don't want it to splatter everywhere. The only bad thing is that I can't see. So I'm gonna lift it a little bit. You want it to look like this put this back in the fridge and we'll be right back this already came out of the oven it was eight minutes it was quick don't leave it any longer it will burn and it'll smell nasty and i let it sit for about an hour and then i put it in the refrigerator for another 30 minutes and now it's crumbling you want it to look like this see just like that we're gonna try to blend it and see how it works, but I'm gonna do in little pieces because I don't want it to to get stuck. Oh, hopefully, hopefully it don't get stuck. Kind of looks like pop tart consistency. Perfect, just like that. That's just the way we want it to look. So we're gonna blend the rest of it. Once you're done blending your crumble, we're gonna go ahead and put our cream cheese frosting inside of our piping bag. I'm gonna use uh, a 1M Wilton. It has kind of like a 
like a star, but it just has a big mouth and that's what I need. I'm gonna throw it in the bag. In this frosting, you can add um, vanilla extract. I don't wanna do that because I think it kills the flavor of the cream cheese. And I actually like the flavor of that, so it's really delicious. Look at that, it looks like ice cream. It does. See, that's what we want. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and start taking the core out of our strawberry. I'm gonna use this little core thing. I think it's a core, I found it, I don't know if it is. But if you don't have one of these, you can also use um, a potato peeler or a knife. It doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna try with this. First is I'm gonna take the leaves off of the strawberry and I'm gonna put two toothpicks in there, kind of to get it like sturdy. And then we're gonna go ahead and dip it in our chocolate. Just like this, all the way around. Then we're gonna shake, shake, shake. Get all that Axis chocolate off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it inside of here, like that. Just like that. And then I'm gonna set it to the side. And then I'm gonna do the rest, I'm gonna do the other ones just like that. Once you're done with them, you want to put them in the refrigerator so that way the chocolate can kind of um, glue everything together and then we're going to do the filling next. So we'll be right back. Okay, I had them in the fridge for about five to six minutes. They already kind of hardened. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab them. Just be very careful and then we're going to take the core out. We're gonna fill the filling in the middle. <laughs> we're just gonna get it like this and we're gonna push it in and then pull it all the way out like that. And there you have it guys. You can put some of this stuff on there. And just, you know, just for like a little decoration. And it's ready for Easter. So there you have it guys, strawberry shortcake crumble berries. They are so delicious. They look pretty, they're easy to make. And um, we really hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.